Hello, welcome to the first episode of the Fishing Girl and Dad videos. Um, if you like what you see here, please subscribe. Um, uh, Fishing Girl, and uh, she's right here, and I'm the dad. And we're going to be putting out a lot of videos uh, about fishing and boating. Um, so please subscribe if you like what you see. And uh, we'll be updating the content as we go along. So this is the first uh, episode. Today is uh, March 18th, uh, 2017. It's still snowy outside. A little bit too cold to go um, on the boat. Uh, but we'll we'll be showing you today is how to build a uh, flounder rig, uh, flounder fishing rig, and uh, the fishing girl is going to demonstrate how to do that. All right. So what we have here is uh, we have some tools. So we have uh, 50 yards of uh, 30 pound uh, clear monofilament line. All right. We have just a basic uh, multi-tool uh, to uh, just hold little things. And uh, we have scissors. So that's uh, basically all the tools that we're going to need for this. Hey, did you want to say hi to the camera? Hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Fishing Girl is going to show us what we have in a toolbox here. So what we're going to need to make a flounder rig are some beads and I believe we got these at the uh, local tackle shop. Uh, we're going to need some skirts. So we have different kinds of skirts here. Uh, we have the, uh, the bucktail skirt. We have squids, all kinds of different color and style, right? Where'd you put the ones that um, we bought? Um, the ones that we bought are, are uh, I think they're in there. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so we have some spoons here, right? Little metal shinies. And um, do you want to get some hooks? Mm-hmm. So basically we have just a bunch of hardware in here and more skirts, hooks, yep. This is the type of hook we're going to be using today for the flounder rig. Okay. And Dad, mm -hmm. do you mind cutting me a piece of line so we can start? Sure. So we're gonna take a piece of line. Okay, so so we just uh, cut a piece of line. It's about four or five feet in length, and that's that, that's where we're gonna start with. All right. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we're gonna do is tie a swivel to one end of the line. The way I do it is a little bit different the way Dad does it. That's okay, right? Mm-hmm. And then we take this part. We add... Is it three beads first, Dad, or is it something else? Yep. This one. Or maybe this one. Yeah. So the flounder flounder rig, uh, this is what it's gonna this is what it's gonna look like. So we have we have a swivel on one end, and then we have some beads, a skirt, and a hook. And a bucktail. Yep. 
Yep, bucktail skirt or squid skirt. And now we add the three beads. And three. Sorry that took so long. Okay. Mm. And now <coughs> we add Okay, so now. so now we're gonna add a uh, skirt and uh, a shiny Right, so we're gonna put a spoon on there. Yeah. Let's get a little spoon. I got a little spoon. Mm -hmm. So these ones, um, they have little little things in here, and it's gonna go. It's gonna go like this. So, so you put a little uh, bracket on there first, one end of the bracket, and then put a spoon. You can put a spoon on here. Right. And then just basically feed. Okay. So, so you feed that through and then, and then um, put a skirt on there. So we have a bunch of different skirts. This one was used. And we get one of these. Which okay. one would you like, Dad? Um, whichever you like. It doesn't really matter, you know. So a lot of these are going to attract the fish and... Um, it's uh, whatever your personal preference is. The fishing girl likes a blue squid. Mm -hmm. and, and, we, and for these squids, we, for some reason, it doesn't have a hole right here, so we need to cut one. first okay. and then we tie a hook on the end of this I think you would like to tie the thing this time dad okay all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna snell this hook the way you do it is um, you put the line through the eye of the hook, make a loop, make a loop, and um, wrap it around about six or seven times around the shank of the hook, so that's one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. And then we pass um, the tag end of the line through the loop. And kind of pull it tight. I'm gonna pull it tight. And for this, I'm gonna use the multi tool to make sure it's nice and tight.
careful not to hurt yourself, Dad. With the hook. Okay, fishing girl. I'm gonna cut the end of this tag. And here we go. Snailed hook. All right, what's but, next? But that's not all. Yep. All right, let's see if we can untangle that. Okay. We, we gently slide the the upper parts down to the hook mm -hmm. and then you have a flounder rig okay so so let's make sure the length uh, we want it to be about three feet in length so that's about right here and um, so let's uh, let's cut off this well can, can you get a small swivel from there. I will. Fishing girl. Yeah, a smaller, smaller swivel is probably, yeah, this one is still kind of big. Let's get a smaller one. There you go. A little tiny one. Yep, perfect. So, so the way we're going to tie the swivel is uh, we're going to use a, a century or a centurion knot. I forget what it's called. So, so we, we basically take the swivel and we feed the line from the bottom. Feed the line from the bottom about six inches. And we grab the line from the back side of the line, the tag on from the back side of the line, and make a loop. Right? And we're going to make Three loops like that. So this is one. Grab it from the back, pull it forward. Two. Grab it from the back, pull it forward. Three. And then we're going to pass this tag end of the line from the back side of the all three loops and pull it through. So we have kind of an eye structure, right? I'm going to make it tight. We're going to make it tight. All right. And I'm just going to grab the swivel by with uh, the multi tool and pull this tight. Good. So that's a centurion nut. Do you wanna oops? Do you wanna cut the tag end? Yes. Perfect. Make sure not to cut the whole thing. Leave a little bit of line there. Yep, that's a good advice. But that's a pretty solid knot. Right, so that's not gonna go anywhere. So, uh, fishing girl, do you wanna show everybody what the final flounder rig looks like? Nice. So, if I was a flounder, I would wanna eat that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice, good job. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe.